In this video, we're going to do the LRGB composition. In order to insert the luminance image in the color image, first we need to delinearize the two images because the LRGB composition is done through perceptual color spaces. To stretch these images, we're going to use histogram transformation and STF. The advantage of this method is that it will delinearize both images based on the statistics of each one. We can configure the stretch by pressing Control and clicking on the Auto Stretch button. The default target background setting is 0.25. This is an appropriate value for a visual examination of the linear image, but it's very high for a stretch. For a stretch, we want to set it to a much lower value, typically between 0.1 and 0.15. Now we need to apply the same auto stretch to the luminance image. We activate the image window and, without making any changes to the settings, we click on the auto stretch button. Now both images have the same sky background brightness and, very importantly, the two images also have similar noise levels because the auto stretch has been configured with the same aggressiveness. This is very important when it comes to applying the correct stretch, as we'll see later. In these images, the default shadow's clipping value gives us a very balanced aggressiveness in the stretch because it enables us to see the darkest areas without enhancing the noise too much. So all we're going to modify is the sky background value. Once we have the STF stretch we want, we can copy it over to Histogram Transformation. To do this, STF and Histogram Transformation both need to have Track View enabled. We activate the luminance image so that the STF window loads the settings for that image. And now we click on the New Instance button and drag it over to the bottom bar of the Histogram Transformation window. Now we can see the delinearization settings here, and this is the histogram that the image will have once it's been delinearized. Now we apply the histogram transformation to the luminance image and disable the STF. And we're going to do the same with a color image. It's very important to have the RGB channels linked here to preserve the color balance that we configured in the previous video. When we activate the color image window, the STF settings for this image are loaded automatically, and we can copy them over to the histogram transformation window like we did before. This is the histogram of the color image after delinearization. We apply histogram transformation to the color image and disable the STF. Now we have two nonlinear images ready for the LRGB composition. As you can see, the luminance image has more depth. The weaker areas are much clearer than those in the color image. As we're going to replace the likeness component of the color image with this image, the result will be a deeper, more detailed color image. Why is it important to have two compatible stretches? To demonstrate why, we're going to do the LRGB composition with three versions of the same luminance image. So, we're going to use one with a much less aggressive stretch and one with a more aggressive stretch than the one we calculated with STF. We're going to compose each one in a different preview. To do the LRGB composition, we need to open Channel Combination, select the CIE Lab or CIE LCH color spaces, and enable the L channel only. We put the darkest synthetic luminance in the first preview. We put the synthetic luminance with the STF stretch in the second preview and we put the synthetic luminance with the most aggressive stretch in the third preview. Here we have the three results. The version with the most aggressive stretch, the one with the STF stretch, and the one with the least aggressive stretch. 
If we zoom in, we can compare the three stretches more closely. In the first version, the LRGB composition is imbalanced toward the color component. We can see this because, in the sky background, the chrominance noise is more intense. As the sky background of the lightness component is darker, the color saturation of the background pixels increases. As a result, the color saturation increases in the noisiest areas. In the version with the STF stretch, we still have the balance between the two components. And if we do the LRGB composition with the luminance with the most aggressive stretch, the result is imbalance toward the luminance component. The image loses a lot of the color saturation and the noise in the lightness component increases significantly in the background. So, we're going to stick with the version calculated by the STF. As you can see, the image gains a lot of depth. The outer arms are more detailed and less noisy. As the luminance image has less noise, the STF stretches it more than the color image. As a result, when we do the LRGB composition, the brightness of the whole image increases. In this image, the increase in brightness isn't very noticeable. But in other images where the color image is of lower quality than the luminance image, this could pose a problem. In these cases, if we do the LRGB composition without first compressing the dynamic range of the two images, we may get artifacts in the composition. This happens because the pixels in the center of the galaxy cannot take such a high color saturation and such a high level of lightness at the same time. But if we do the dynamic range compression before we do the LRGB composition, we get this. This is the LRGB composition with the dynamic range compressed after doing the composition. And here is the one where we compressed the dynamic range before we did the composition. In summary, if we do an LRGB composition without compressing the dynamic range of the images beforehand, we need to check that everything is correct in the lightest areas. The color data of this image of M101 are of very high quality, so the difference in lightness in the LRGB composition isn't very great and doesn't cause problems. In the next video, we'll do the dynamic range compression of the composite LRGB image, which also has the enhanced hydrogen alpha component. Mm -hmm.